quite often when we're dealing with school districts, we see nurses providing uh, care and leadership when it comes to handling the concussed athlete, student athlete on campus. And they definitely have a place in the, in the treatment spectrum. And quite often they're the only ones there, especially in California where we don't have certified athletic trainers at every school site. So it, generally speaking, the responsibility for the care falls on the school nurse. One of the challenges that we have is that sometimes that school nurse is at three or four different schools. So they're not always on campus. They're not there all the time. They don't always see the kids. They don't know the student athletes as well as the, stu as, as the athletic trainer might or even the coaches. So uh, we have had workshops for, for nurses. Uh, they, they understand the need for some objective clinical information from a baseline standpoint, there's just a lot of room for education there. Some of them embrace impact and really trust it and are our biggest advocates for its use on campus. You know, others, uh, depending upon their training, background, and history, don't understand it. And because of the time management issues involved in using it, um, have sometimes been reluctant to, uh, you know, to implement that on, on campus. I always like talking to the nurses. Uh, you know, we we have common ground there as as athletic trainers, and and uh, if we're going representing the the hospital, the physician, our practice, you know, our common denominator there is the health and safety of the student athletes. And so, as long as we keep orienting it that way, um, we're finding that there's less resistance to the program, and they're also obligated and bound by legal guidelines and quite often they view that as a as a um, challenge for you know starting any new programs um, not only because they have to go back and learn how to use it but also to the the implications from a liability and responsibility standpoint if we're using this then therefore the assumption is that we're knowledgeable and experts and competent at its use and therefore going to be held responsible for it. And we just try to tell them that they, got, they have support. You know, they've got a team out there. That's where practices like ours are so valuable. Um, you know, California, the CIF stipulates very specifically that a student athlete cannot re be returned to play without clearance by an MD or DO that's specialty trained in concussion. And that's been super helpful for us with, this, with the school nurses because we tell them you do have backup. You do have a physician that understands, and fortunately, more and more physicians are embracing the use of impact and embracing the use of multidisciplinary care. They understand that that's the way to go when it comes to managing these problems and these, these kids with concussions. Don't miss out. Click to subscribe to our channel and learn more about concussion care by watching our next video.